Hello, my name's Thomas, and in this latest video, I'm going to show you a cocktail that I've devised for the Blackwell Rum. And we see this in the publicity photos for No Time to Die. It's a Jamaican brand of rum from Chris Blackwell, who met Ian Fleming when he was a child and has lived in Jamaica and has been a business pioneer. So I just thought I'd use this. We see it on James Bond's desk, and I thought if it's good enough for Mr. Bond, James Bond, it's probably good enough for me. So I had a little look online at all the different Jamaican recipes that are out there for Jamaican rum punch. And what I found is that there's no one recipe. There's, there's many, many recipes, dozens, maybe hundreds. So I thought if it's a dozen, let's make it a dozen and one. If there's a hundred, let's make it a hundred and one. So I basically combined all the bits of the recipes that I really like to make my own Jamaican rum punch. I don't have a name for it. So if you have a name for it, then comment below. Uh, and maybe I can choose your name. Um, maybe just got some more creativity than I have right now in terms of naming cocktails. Never named a cocktail before. Let's get to it. So, the first thing that you need uh, is some orange juice. Very common ingredient in the Jamaican uh, rum punch cocktails. I've juiced mine fresh because that's the way I like it. Perhaps an unusual ingredient I have is some grapefruit. I really wanted fresh grapefruit juice. Again, maybe a little too citrusy for some people, but I really like it, the combination of tropical fruit. Oh, there is of course the rum. The rum is very, very important. I've already put it into here. In fact, I put it in here a few hours ago, along with some desiccated coconut and some cinnamon sticks. So again, you've probably heard about spiced rum. I really like putting some cinnamon in to spice it. And often they'll make these uh, Jamaican rum punches sweet. They might add in some, some sugar, some cane sugar and so on, but I really like the ones that added in coconut. It really adds in a special something, I think. The other ingredients, well, we've got some uh, chopped pineapple here and some mint leaves. These are really the garnish and of course some ice. So relatively simple. First, put in the rum, put in some coconut, desiccated coconut, put in some cinnamon sticks, leave it to soak for a couple of hours. And then it's, as you can see, one part orange juice, and I like to have it with uh, plenty of the bits, an equal part of grapefruit juice. And put in a little bit of ice, just to cool it down, it's very refreshing in the uh, hot Jamaican evenings. Of course, we know Mr. Bond doesn't shake his cocktails. Oh wait, he does shake his cocktails. He doesn't stir his cocktails, that's the famous line. Ah, oh, terrible. Let's go and watch the new film, get that sorted out. <laughs> so there we go, give it a good old shake. Just check the smell. Yep, it smells like something I could drink. It's a bit of a long drink, but don't worry. I have several throughout the evening. There we go, We've got a nice, nice bit of color there. Obviously there's a bit of a coconut coming through, a bit of a pulp from the fruit juice, but again, that's something I really, really like. There we go. And to garnish it, well, a bit of, a bit of mint. Some nice, uh, Pineapple. And there we have it. Perhaps a bit of a, a rustic cocktail, but very nice for uh, an evening in a Jamaican villa. It's, the smell is very, very rich. I like it. Not half bad. Maybe you can try it yourself at home. And again, you can think of a name for this. Uh, at the moment, I'm just calling it Thomas's Jamaican Rum Punch, but again, maybe you can name it better. Try it.